Hello guys, how you doing? In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to turn a regular hard drive into an external hard drive where you can just connect it via USB to your computer. Now, the reason why you might want to do this is because uh, you got a really nasty virus and and you have to reinstall Windows but you want to save all your files somehow and um, even though Windows is corrupt you can still go in here using uh, using the method of converting this hard drive to external and saving all your files before you wipe before you format the drive and install Windows again okay there's other purposes too so what you're gonna need is a kit that looks like this which is called an IDE slash SATA to USB adapter and you can find it on eBay for uh, this much Okay, and basically what the kit is going to come with is, uh, first of all, a power adapter. This connects to the wall. You use this here. You connect it here. You connect it here. So basically what you've done here is you've made a, you've made a SATA power connector for your hard drive that connects to the wall. Now if you have an IDE hard drive it, this comes with an adapter. Here's the adapter which turns SATA which turns um, actually this isn't SATA this is a different type but with this adapter you can connect it here let me see how this goes. It's kinda hard when using the camera at the same time but I should be able to do this. There's no excuse here. Alright, so there it goes. This connects here. So now you got a SATA. So with the adapter you'll have SATA. Without the adapter you'll have a different one. Okay. I don't know if it's called SATA, but uh, that power supply, but but you know how there's two different types. You can have both with this adapter here. Okay. Now, over here we have our um, our USB cable that goes to an adapter here and this adapter you can use IDE here's IDE if you have SATA you connect it right here you see this right here this will turn it into a SATA connector so this goes right here and there we go now we have USB to your hard drive SATA and this this hard drive here is SATA so let's hook it up. And this one over here. There we go. Now we have a hard drive turned into USB and connects to the wall. All right. So now we're going to connect it to my computer and see how it looks on my desktop. So here we have our hard drive turned into an external hard drive, connected to power and connected to USB to my desktop. Now there's some files I actually want to get from here. So let's go over to my desktop and uh, retrieve these files. Alright guys, so now that we got our our regular hard drive turned to an external hard drive and connected to our computer we're gonna retrieve some files so it just uh, recognized it that's what that sound was yeah, leave me alone okay let's go to let's go to start my computer and we should be able to see it in there and there it is local disk E Let's open it up. And this is Windows XP in here. And we're, I'm going to try to get some stuff from the desktop. So we're going to have to go to, I believe it's Document and Settings. I think it's User. Continue. It's going to ask you if you have permission. Say continue. You should be able to get in there. Come on. 
This happens every time and it freezes for a little while, but you should be able to have access to it. So don't worry about that. I've done this before. Let's try to go in here. Try to go back. I'm sure we can go in there now. Come on, let us go in. See what's in here for now. Desktop. That's not the real desktop that we want to go to. Where we want to go to is over here on this. There we go. Now we're in. Okay, desktop. Here we go. So what I want is, what I want to retrieve is personal computer backup. You see this right here? That's what I want. Okay. So copy, paste right here. Is that the only thing I need? Yep, that's it. That's the only thing I need. So that's going to take a while. And uh, that's it. It's up to 20. It's 20 gigs when I'm copying, so this is going to take like 20 minutes. That's basically it. That concludes this tutorial on how to turn a regular hard drive to an external hard drive and how to retrieve files from it. I hope this has helped you guys a lot and you don't ha I hope this has helped you guys actually be able to retrieve your files and not have to sacrifice and delete your files just to be able to install Windows again. No, you can retrieve your files doing exactly what we did in this video, okay? So, hopefully that was helpful and have a good day.